This is Meet the Wolfpack, where we uh, find out a little more about Wolfpack student athletes. My name is Larry Reed. I'm the uh, sports information officer here at TRU, and we're going to talk women's volleyball. Krista Hoga Hogawarning. <laughs> How did I do on your last name? Close. 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 And Close. it is? Hogawarning. Hogawarning. Okay, <laughs> we'll continue. We'll continue on here. Welcome to Kamloops. Uh, you know, your your new new addition here. Uh, why did you choose Thompson Rivers University? Um, well, when Chad contacted me, I kind of looked into schooling first because mm. communications. I was at UFE before, and there was no communications major. Right. And that was what I wanted to go into. So, I looked at that, and then I kind of was like, yeah, I could do this, and then. Um, yeah, just decided based on that mostly and the volleyball to higher level, so it just seemed like a good fit. Nice. You're in the journalism program. Yeah. And uh, why are you uh, are you wanting to be a journalist, or and, and if so, uh, you were taking communications before. Well, why does that intrigue you? Um, when I was at UFE, I took a lot of communi communications courses, uh -huh. and I just really enjoyed them all. I, for a long time, I didn't know what I wanted to do, so I just kind of, all the classes that I liked all seemed to be in the same area, so I was like, I think this is probably what I should be doing. So are, are you looking at new media? Are you looking at uh, PR? Are you, are you wanting to be uh, going get into television or radio or something like that, or what? I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> but you're just liking it so far. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, uh, how about Kamloops? You know, obviously uh, you, you're from the Fraser Valley. Uh, you know, how, how are you finding Kamloops so far? And is it a nice transition as you move away from home? Uh, yeah, I like Kamloops because it's like a small town and it's further away from other places. Whereas in like Abbotsford and the Fraser Valley, it's all all towns on top of each other, and they all kind of like you have to be with like somebody specific to be with them or whatever like you can't huh, I don't know how to answer I'm trying to say what yeah, I'm is it, but it is, is it easier so like you move like uh, you know you're, you're you're cooking probably for the for the for the first time yeah. and, and and that sort of thing is it easier than say if you had to move to Toronto from Abbotsford or, or from yeah. Chilliwack yeah. yeah it's easier right um, tell me a little bit about the about the girls because uh, you know, there's I know uh, we've got a lot of new girls like yourself. There's some girls from from that have been here from last year, but you seem to have melded really quickly. Well, it's interesting because we've got a lot of like a wide variety of different personalities and stuff, and it's been a lot of fun and it's really interesting getting to know different people and like their backgrounds and stuff because we do have such a wide variety of like backgrounds and everybody's from different places and stuff too so that's that's fun <laughs> uh, the, you've had a great preseason so far uh, do you think you're gonna take a lot of people by surprise this year well I hope so <laughs> 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 yeah I think so I think that a lot of teams will be expecting the same thing as the years before but we've since we do have so many new players and like it's been a lot more positive than it has been right so I think I hope we do well and take them by surprise. <laughs> have you noticed a big surprise going from high school to Pac West now to, to CIS in terms of level of play? Um, yeah, it would have been worse if I went straight from high school to here. Like it would have been a bigger adjustment. But yeah, it has been an adjustment. It's de definitely more like taxing, but. It's just been more fun, I guess. Nice. <laughs> more enjoyable. Outside hitter. What does it take to be a good outside hitter? That's your position. Um, I don't know. You have to hit the ball well, and you just have to be pretty well-rounded as a player. You have to know how to pass and right. hit and block and play defense. Have you always been an outside hitter growing up uh, playing club in high school? Uh, yeah. Well, when I was 14, I was a middle, but I was a lefty, so that changed pretty quick because... Lefty middles are are not good. Or? Well, they they couldn't be good, but it's just a weird. Well, it didn't work for me. I really? just wasn't good at it. Right. <laughs> why volleyball? Did you play other sports growing up, and why did you decide on volleyball as a as a sport to to obviously get to a high level, which you have? Um, I played softball when I was younger, but I didn't really enjoy it as much. And I think that when I started playing club and school volleyball, I just really enjoyed the people I played with mostly. Mm -hmm. And I think that's probably that's why I decided to pursue volleyball, just because right. I enjoyed the people and all the coaches I had were like I just always had a good time at volleyball. So I just wanted to keep playing. Nice. <laughs> uh, as you know, uh, the Wolfpack do a lot of community work, and I know I think you guys have been involved in a, in a couple of things already. Uh, what's that like, and, and what's it like 
walking into whether it be the grocery store, the restaurant, uh, and you're wearing a Wolfpack shirt, and people know what who TR, what TRU is, and and most likely they'll they'll find out that you're a volleyball player. What's that like? Um, I guess it's kind of not stressful, but like you know that people are watching you, and you have to like always represent the school in like a good way. So I don't know. It's a it's nice like knowing that people kind of support you, right. but I, it's also like a big responsibility too. Right. Are you juggling the whole school? The school. Oh, and, yeah, yeah. The juggling the school. The uh, uh, because as an athlete, you know, you practice like four times a week, and then you're traveling, or you're you've got a game, and you got school. How are you? How do you balance that whole thing? What's the key to success there? Um, time management. <laughs> <laughs> Thankfully, me and my roommates don't have cable because <laughs> otherwise uh, we'd be watching a lot of TV instead oh, really? of doing our homework. But right. we're kind of forced to do our work because we just have nothing else to do at home. So yeah, it's just about making sure you use your planner and knowing when stuff's due and what's due when and that kind of stuff, yeah. Cool, just before we let you go, what words of advice do you have for a potential student athlete or a potential student about uh, uh, coming to Thompson Rivers University? What would you say words to them? Words of advice. Yeah. You should come here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Krista said it all. Thank you, Krista. This is Meet the Wolfpack.